Hello, my name is Anthony Boulil, and I am a Geomatics Consultant at GeoPlus. Today I will show you how to select points and how to segment the point cloud using Vision LiDAR. Now, to begin, all tools shown in this tutorial are in the Edit menu. So we have Select and Select All for the selection. Note that these tools will select all visible points, meaning if there are any points that are hidden, so for instance if some points are hidden here and I do select all, only the visible points will be selected. Select all will select all visible points, however select will be, require the user to create a polygon where points can be selected. So if the user clicks on select, afterwards it's necessary to click and do a left click and see we have a green line here that begins and keep on doing left clicks to create a bounding box. So to close the polygon we must do a right click where the polygon will be closed and our selection window will appear. So only points within the bounding box will be selected. Now we have a few options here. So we may delete or undelete any points that may have been deleted beforehand. We can ca classify directly. We can create an extraction or we can create a surface. Creating a surface will add a surface in the Vision Civil module and this will be explained in a further tutorial. Now for classification this can, tool can be interesting as we can segment the point cloud manually. So for a good example of manual classification, we can visualize the data with view color by class. And we can see here a few of the points have been classified with some of the Vision LiDAR's automatic classification tools. If I zoom into these cars here and I hide, for instance, the ground, I can create a selection, so I'll use my select tool and create a polygon around one of these vehicles here. I can classify to class 13, let's say, which is an empty class. And I can enter in a name. So this point will be recognized as vehicle. I can continue like this by selecting, by left clicking my polygon box and right clicking to close. And here classify will remember and I can classify directly to the vehicle class. Now for the extractions, if I wish to create an extraction, I can, I can select an area like so and send to an extraction. So extract a file. And here I will have an extracted view of my point cloud. So here I may do additional changes. So I can also select a class and let's say I send it to class 14 here. But any changes made in the extraction will not be reflected in the main project unless I go to File, Set Extraction Back. If I wish to return to the main view, I go to File, Extractions, and go back to Main here, for instance. So as we can see, the change made here has not been applied. Now, finally, the Fence tool works similarly to the extraction, However, we don't have to enter into an extraction and save the extraction. We can simply pick a fence. I can pick a fence on screen in the same way that I would pick a selection. And here I have two options. So I can either hide inside or hide outside the fence. So everything inside and outside the fence will be shown or hidden. So when we do any type of classification or any algorithms are run, only visible points will be calculated and will be shown. 
we can draw or erase our fence so we can see the the fence is applied here. If I draw it and apply it, I'm reapplying my fence as I go along. Erase simply erases the fence from the screen. So that's it for the fence. And finally, we have a tool here. It's called Simplify. So this tool is going to create an extraction. However, it's going to simplify the number of points in the extraction. So we use a grid simplification. So the grid is the size of the tile. So in this case, it's one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter for the grid. And it's going to keep only one point per tile. Obviously, the larger your grid size here, the less points you'll include into your simplified point cloud. The result will be sent into an extraction. So if you want to export a simplified version of your point cloud, you can create the extraction and then afterwards go to File, Export to, and export the point cloud. So that's it for the selection and segmentation of point clouds with Vision LiDAR. Now I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and stay posted for more Vision LiDAR tutorials. Thank you very much.